Ah, remember last time I said, you'll, this is the last time you'll hear me speak about Ray Donovan. And this is it. This, this is it. Michael Jackson, this is it. The season finale happened and it was a great season finale and I'm gonna miss it. It was a really great episode. I will be spoiling it now in case you care or you don't wanna know. I'm gonna start spoiling it. Smitty decided not to take Daryl's advice and stay away from Mickey, so he fucking died. I would have been sad and felt bad for him if he haven't been fucking up throughout the entire, his entire presence on the show. I never really liked Smitty. I never connected with him. He always was very annoying and just, Followy and just persistent in trying to be a Donovan and being in this family. When he wasn't strong enough, he just didn't have the juice. And then he snitched on them and then he just kept hanging around with Mickey. It was just like, you're asking to die. So him dying alone in the street was just inevitable. Mickey leaving him, I wasn't even surprised. It's like, you really think that this man cares about you? You really think that this family cares about you? Open your fucking eyes, you stupid idiot. Well, his death wasn't that sad. I was just like, waiting for it to happen. I was like, I know this dude's gonna die. He just keeps making bad choices. Then Ray killed Jim Sullivan, who was just introduced this season. So his death didn't really hurt me or anything. They always introduce characters at the beginning of the season and then kill them by the end of it. And it's like, oh, don't care. But the reason for him dying, for Ray killing him, was definitely purposeful and was definitely reasonable. He killed him because he was fucking his daughter. His He was fucking Ray's sister and got her pregnant and kind of caused her suicide. So it was bound to happen. And it just sucks because Ray worked for him his whole childhood. He was abusing his sister that whole time. He didn't know. So Ray obviously can't be in a relationship with this man's daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill your father. And the whole time she was trying to be with Ray, I was like, do you not know who this nigga is? Like, you can't be with him. He's not normal. He's not right in the head. Like, he's a, he does what he do. He, he's still kind of married. Like, he still wears his wedding band. Like, he's a widow. He's not really trying to be with nobody. <laughs> and speaking of Daryl, Daryl made it clear that he's so fucking sick of Mick and so over him. Like, he doesn't see him as his father. And he sees him the same way Ray sees him now. Like, as just a fuck-up parent. And nobody's really fucking with Mick anymore. Terry's not. Bunchy's not. They're just completely over him. Nobody's, like, speaking to him. Nobody really cares about what he do anymore. Nobody's looking for him. So, I think Daryl was his last hope. And now Daryl gone, too. So, I'm mm, looking forward to the next season. Every time Dar You know what's interesting about Ray Donovan? Every single time it ends, like, the season finale, I always think, oh, goddamn, like, the show is gonna be over now. It's not gonna come back. And then it comes back. And it's just better. In the episode, Terry's friend committed suicide and he went to the Empire State Building. And it reminded me of that time when me and my sister went to the Empire State Building. And now I wanna go again, just because I saw it in the show. It feels good going up there. I don't know, I like it up there, looking at my city. Even though I look at the city all the time because I live on the 19th floor, like I'm looking at it right now. What up, New York building? What up, Lincoln Tunnel? <laughs> what up, Jersey? What up, Hudson River? <laughs> It was a nice moment with Bunchy and Daryl when Bunchy was like, when Terry told me you existed, I was like, I gotta go see him, he's my little brother. And Daryl, I guess, feels like because he's the biracial one, he's the black one, that his brothers don't really fuck with him. But it, I've never felt that way. They've always made it clear, like, you're our brother, we fuck with you, you can come be with us. It's really Mickey that we don't really fuck with. Like, it's not your fault you exist. And Bunchy basically sat him down and was telling him that, like, you're my brother no matter what. I don't, I don't care that you're black, that we don't have the same mom. You're my brother, period. Fuck Mickey. We love you. Like him fighting with Ray, he was just taking out his frustration with Ray. Like his frustration of, of Mickey with Ray. But Ray was like, I, I, I never cared about you being black. It's not, it wasn't about you. The animosity wasn't about you. It was about what Mick did to my mom. You didn't ask to be here. It's not your fault you ex you exist. My beef is not even with you. <laughs> like, can't you clearly see that Ray is making an effort to have a relationship with you the best way he can? He's not that good at it, but I think he's doing decent for Ray's standards. And then the show ends, it shows everybody and where they are right now. And it ends with that Elvis Presley song, You'll Never Walk Alone. And it reminded me of BTS. <laughs> Cause they had an album or a song or something like that called You Never Walk Alone and it reminded me of them. But it ended with that song and it was very somber and sweet and it showed 
like I said, Terry on top of the Empire State Building and showed Bridget looking out of her window at the sunset. She's a widow now. Everybody's a fucking widow or a widower. She's a widow. Her father and her grandfather are widowers. Like everybody's fucking spouse dies. It's really fucking sad. And that's how Ray Donovan ended. It ended with him actually burying Jim Sullivan. The whole episode was spent with him burying Jim Sullivan. We didn't know that in the beginning, but we knew he killed somebody and had to get rid of the body. And we knew that it was kind of just, or at least I did. It was very clear that it was a just killing. Mm, I'm gonna miss Ray Donovan, but that's the end of that review.